Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Freddie Garcia. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Robert Thatcher. Dr. Thatcher, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited to be with you again. Uh, I wanted to bring you on because uh, we're going to shoot a quick video about a new program that the Carrick Institute is launching uh, in collaboration with you. This has been years in the making. The program is called Mastery of QEG in Neurofeedback. And I thought that the program title was fitting because you are the master of QEG and neurofeedback. I mean, you are really, really the man. I have some questions for you about the program, but before we jump into that, can you let everybody who's watching at home know a little bit about, uh, know a little bit more about you and your background? Why do I call you the master of this stuff? Can you let them know? Well, it's a long history, but I uh, began as a math major, then I graduated in chemistry and, and, and a lot of courses in physics, but I fell in love with uh, psychology after I graduated and got a PhD in psychology with a emphasis on biopsychology, after which I joined uh, as a postdoctoral fellow at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, uh, and uh, then New York Medical College as an assistant professor, associate professor at NYU, full professor at the University of Maryland. Uh, then I went to the National Institutes of Health as a project manager for the first 128 channel EEG system to do three dimensional imaging of the brain and do co registration with PET scans, uh, SPEC scans, functional MRI, uh, MEG, diffusion tensor imaging. That's, that's where the first $2 billion in that first decade went. Uh, then the connectome with the, the functional and effective connectivity of the second decade. And so uh, I mastered that. and. Uh, part of that whole process and I've been publishing and I have over 200 publications in, in eight books. Yeah. So, I mean, you are well published. The programs that you've been doing with, uh, the programs that you've been working with, specifically with this technology with, you haven't been doing this for a short, short time. You've been doing this for a long time and your books are highly referenced. Like everybody uses those, they're like the Bible of QEG and neuro, neurofeedback. Do you have one of those books handy by any chance? Yeah, matter of fact, this will be the textbook that we'll be using for the course. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's, not a, it's not a pamphlet by any, by any means. So Dr. And Thatcher has a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Thatcher has a lot to, to tell us. So let's, let's get into the program a little bit. So first of all, thank you very much for your background. I mean, everybody, it's very impressive, right? You are, you are the man when it comes to this, and I'm sure everybody's going to be excited to learn from the man when it comes to QEG and or feedback. Let's talk about uh, the program, and I'm, I'm gonna, I want to hit this head on. There are other programs out there. What makes this program different? Why, the collaboration with the Carrick Institute, we want to create something special. And like I said, it's been years in the making. What makes this program different from other ones that are out there? Well, it's the bringing to bear the 20 to $40 billion in, uh, in taxpayer money for the human brain mapping program that I was uh, fortunate enough to be at the National Institutes of Health when it began and I'm dedicated to that. So uh, that makes it unique because I'm able to bring along with myself and my colleagues uh, the knowledge that was gained through that huge uh, neural imaging uh, effort, uh, to bring that to bear to uh, clinicians to empower them with that new knowledge. And with special emphasis on neural imaging, so you can link patient symptoms to dysregulation in brain networks and hubs. For example, the first uh, decade of the human brain mapping program, we discovered the brain, even those 150 billion neurons or so, uh, is actually organized in a small set of hubs. These are clusters of neurons, things like the amygdala, the lateral frontal lobes, the cingulate gyrus, there's hubs within the cerebellum, roughly about 120 hubs. But that huge mass of neurons is now, now we could see that they're organized as a collective and we could measure the conduction velocities between the center of the hubs. Uh, we could uh, link symptoms to dysregulation of parts of the hubs. Anxiety, for example, PTSD with soldiers from Afghanistan, the amygdala neurons are shouting and they're completely out of control. Uh, the anterior cingulate gyrus, the insula, these parts of the brain are very important in the limbic uh, nexus, but we can image them in three dimensions and we can compare these hubs to a FDA registered normative database, like a blood test. And you'll see that there are three, four, five standard deviations outside of normal. And then you reinforce these hubs towards greater stability and efficiency uh, and then measure the severity of symptoms. So you really want to see symptoms go down. So we are unique in linking symptoms to dysregulation in brain networks and hubs. Uh, we're the only ones that I know of that are doing that. 
Okay, beautiful. Um, can you cover, you know, it's, it's a four day program. It's coming out in uh, January, 2022. So you, depending on when you're seeing this, it's either gonna be out and maybe you'll be catching it via video or hopefully joining us uh, here in Florida for the course. But what what is uh, what are all the things you're gonna be learning during that time with you, Dr. Thatcher? Well, to begin with, we're going to, you're gonna learn about functional neuroanatomy. Uh, you're going to learn, uh, I'm going to try to bring to bear the knowledge that is crystallized and summarized in the many decades of neuroscience, but especially the modern era today where we can now inexpensively, an amplifier and $3,000 cost to image the brain, or at least the amplifier costs 3000 the software may be five to 10000 but it's not really expensive. And it's software, so you can now image the brain in real time and link the symptoms to the, uh, the, to the dysregulation in those hubs. So we'll begin the course with the basics of the functional networks, how they relate these networks to different clinical categories. And we'll bring to bear the modern neurosciences there. So we'll spend some time on that. Uh, we'll spend time on showing how you can create a clinic report in just a, a minute or two. Uh, and how the most important is to link the symptoms to the brain. And we'll show the three-dimensional imaging uh, software that we have. It's uh, 12,400 voxels from uh, the MRI, uh, part of the human brain mapping program at the National Institutes of Health and Montreal Neurological Institute. It's a standard template. And, but all of the parts of the brain are there. We, we look at the center voxels and we look at the, the magnitude and direction of information flow, the degree of coupling, how well parts are talking to each other and whether there's dysregulation and too much or too little or synchrony, which creates amplitude. All of those things will be covered, but always with an emphasis on symptomology and linking and function. And then we'll also have time to uh, learn uh, good recording hygiene. It's very important to learn the basics. We'll have uh, demonstrations of that, but uh, we'll have more on that and make sure that people are able to get good quality recording. Because once you get good quality recording, now you've captured uh, what's going on in the brain is that there's all there, essentially there's a whole bunch of loops and loops within loops and they're continually going on. And every instant of time, the brain is allocating a certain amount of resource to uh, 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 you know, mediate given functions. We can measure that in milliseconds. So you'll be able to see how healthy that is, but you need to learn to do that and uh, uh, so we'll finally, at the end of this, we'll show how to do what we call the hub and spoke, which is remote training uh, over the internet using Zoom, uh, other uh, uh, go to meeting, et cetera. Because of the COVID virus, it's difficult for people to come into the offices, but you can easily treat people remotely by sh simply shipping in a small package, an amplifier and a cap or whatever you need to do. And then make sure you get good quality recording. It takes only 15 minutes or so over the internet. Record, stream that EEG to your hub location. Uh, work up a protocol uh, by evaluating the symptoms with respect to the dysregulation of the brain and then begin treatment remotely as well. And then over time, over sessions, you make sure that the symptoms or severity is going down and the brain's moving in the direction of greater health and stability. Yeah, I think one of the reasons that hopefully people are gathering as they hear uh, everything that you're going to be covering in this program is the reason this took years in development is we wanted this to be the most comprehensive course out there. We, we specifically named it Mastery of QEG and Neurofeedback because we wanted them to go from, hey, there's, they haven't done QEGs or understand neurofeedback yet, but we do have educated scholars, right? Like our clinicians are studying neuroscience. And some of them sure. have been at this for 20 years. So we said, all right, Dr. Thatcher, here you have bulbs that we think are brighter than the normal bright bulb, the light bulb, right? Like here you, here you go. These people know their neurology. If you were teaching people that are starting here when maybe the normal audience is here, yeah. if they're starting here, how would you educate them differently? Can you make them incredible at this if, if they study hard for those few days with you? And that's what this program ends up uh, being like. One of the things as we're going through the curriculum development that was exciting to me is I envision uh, a time where these clinicians are taking these programs and the other caricature programs, and now they have the symptoms to the brain imaging, which you're teaching them, and then they have refined physical skills and fine neurological exam skills. 
And then they get to make a beautiful decision about how to approach that patient's care with a physical model, a brain-based model, a receptor-based model, an, an efferent model, all, all these different models that really respect the nervous system. And, and we recognize the importance of the imaging, the QEG, and the neurofeedback rehabilitation model as well, which is what makes this all very exciting. So hopefully people are getting excited about this as, as we are, because this is gonna be beautiful. I think we're gonna have very, very empowered clinicians who are gonna be able to help more patients than ever before. And the hub and spoke model for doing this work, be able to do it remotely should be very exciting because if you understand the, what's going on in the world in regards to people go, sometimes even being afraid to go out and get this help, the fact that you're solving that problem as well and be able to help people remotely is gonna be great because I envision patients doing intensive with some of, some of our clinicians, but able to continue the brain-based approach with neurofeedback remotely, and you'll be able to support them really, really well. So I, I just commend you for one, designing that model and being and teaching it in this program, because I think that's going to change the lives of, of many patients out there and really bolster the practices of a lot of our clinicians that come study with us here at the Carrick Institute. Dr. Thatcher. Just to mention, if people are interested a little bit more, go to appliedneuroscience.com to learn more and recognize the whole world is challenged with this COVID-19. So the remote access and training is not limited to just your neighborhood. So. Yeah, it's really incredible. It's one of the things that I thought was, I was, you know, I was very excited when I, when I realized that you're going to be, we had enough time in, in the curriculum to, to squeeze that in. I think that's going to be absolutely incredible. Dr. Thatcher, thank you so much for your time today and sharing with everybody at home what they're going to be learning in the new mastery of QEG and neurofeedback program. Again, the program is being launched in January of 2022. Uh, we're going to be recording the program as well, but we invite you to join us in Florida. So everybody at home, go to carrickinsu.com to learn more about the program. If you want to learn more about Dr. Thatcher, appliedneuroscience.com. And, uh, and I think that's it for today, Dr. Thatcher. Thank you so much for your time today. To everybody at home, we hope you see you in Florida and have a great day. Have a great day, Dr. Thatcher. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You too.